Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. Of course, we're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. My name is Jello, and we have a very special guest on the show today. Libby, how are you doing today? I am doing fantastic. Thank you for having me. Yes, we are very excited to speak with you, of course, and we really appreciate you giving us your time for this podcast episode. So, for the benefit of everyone who's listening and watching, can you tell us something about yourself, Libby? Well, something about myself, actually, like a fun personal fact. Is that what That's you're looking fine. for? Anything you'd like to share to our audience, of course. All right. Well, a little about me. I've been with Keller Woods for five years now. Um, team leader for about three years and I have two-year-old triplets at home so that's like what I'm like the triplet mom (laughs) when I'm (laughs) not the team leader (laughs) all right so being a team leader having triplets at home two-year-old triplets so I'm also we know for a fact that you do have a cyber backer supporting you and your role being a team leader correct yes thank goodness (laughs) so how long have you been working with your cyber backer Zeus so Zeus and I have been working together. It's actually just a little over a year. I think we just celebrated our year anniversary, like wow. a month or so ago, I think. Yeah. A month ago, already a year yeah. with your own cyber backer. So let me yes. ask you, was this your first time working with someone virtually or did you have experience before? No, this is absolutely my first time. And I was very not skeptical, but I was like, I don't, I don't know. Cause (laughs) as a team leader, I'm sure a lot of them can, can, can relate to this is that leverage is already like, well, but, Oh, that's what I do. And that's like, can I let someone else do that or help? And I will never look back. (laughs) So I want to talk to you about your experience since this was your first time. Can you tell us something um, that surprised you or your experience working with your own cyber backer? I think my expectation was that I would just give them tasks and it would be very much like more of me mm-hmm. having to manage every aspect. And as it turns out, um, that's the direct opposite almost where like Zeus is so amazing at coming to me with the ideas. Um, and, you know, getting ideas from his peers and other, you know, team leader and their backers and coming to me and be like, this is what they're doing. What do you think? Here's what I've worked out. What do you think about this script? And I'm like, thank goodness. Like he is such an asset in that regard rather than me giving him tasks. He's normally, and in fact, right now, he is waiting on me to do something. (laughs) (laughs) So I honestly, um, he is like such a beneficial person in my life and I even this week gave him I told him I go Zeus my whole team understands this about me is that I am going to be running place to place as fast as possible and barely breathing and you just need to tell me what to do in the little time on my calendar that you know that I have (laughs) so (laughs) this whole week is it's our first time doing it uh he has to do this on my calendar every morning and I was like that is the smartest thing you've ever done because now I don't have to think about it. You've told me what to do. I will execute these tasks and we are better for it. <laughs> so this is just something you started this week. Just this week. Yes. Like I, he goes, Libby, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be telling me what to do. And I said, I know, but after a year, I think we've really moved into you telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know more about Zeus. Personality wise, the days you spend together. Tell us more. So that like in the beginning, like Zeus and I, I made sure we talked every single day. Like we, cause I was most concerned with like, I don't have the time to manage another person. And on my team, I am very much, you own it. You don't have to ask me constantly, can I do this? If If there's like a task or an idea, I want you to go execute and own that. That's your baby now. 
So a Zeus, same thing. And so that's why I'm really thankful I found him because he loved that. <laughs> and I gave him free reign to be himself and like own it and get, have resources and utilize them. Um, but now we meet, we're more once a week on Zoom in person, like in person, you know. Yes, in person. <laughs> um, on Zoom and then pretty much daily, like every morning we're like, good morning, how are you? And then all throughout the day, I'm like, I promise I'm getting you this, Zeus. Yes, I'm sorry, you know, because I'm, he's always <laughs> keeping me on track. Um, but it is very much, my whole team knows him. A lot of the agents here know him because I used to face the other way. So at the door, people would come in and be like, <laughs> Hi, Zeus. So he is literally another member of our team. He has sat in on our leadership huddles. So he, they know that they can communicate with him too. So it's, it's, that's the best way to do it because then you're all one goal together. There's one, you know, one goal, one team. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I can really feel that there's not just a work relationship between you and Zeus. There's also a friendship in there is that right it's yes. very true <laughs> he says i'm crazy but it really makes for a good relationship <laughs> <laughs> wow i can really see how close you are right now, even if you haven't met in person yet in person so Ex very much so yeah so what makes this type of a virtual relationship work what makes it a successful partnership libby i really do think that the key and why we're having like such a successful relationship is that I treat him as another member of the team. That is his world, his role, and he treats it as such. It's not just a an administrative duty where he's waiting for his next assignment and then, okay, here's the next task I complete. I really do wholeheartedly believe that it is a matter of letting him be like, so he can add value and find those places to do so. He is absolutely amazing at working with others. So as a city in my area in Indianapolis, we work, there's like three or four offices that we all kind of work together, share services, um, things like that. So, and like marketing tactics, things like that. And uh, Zeus is one where I'm like, hey, will you talk to their cyberbacker and make sure our message is the same? Here's what we're rolling out. Here's what we're doing. And then I've also had like where my productivity coach, um, she hired a cyber recruiter or cyber backer. And I was like, get them in touch with Zeus. That way they'll understand our pipeline, our report, how we do this. And again, another piece of leverage that I never expected to come out of Zeus and being my cyber recruiter. <laughs> <laughs> Just connected the dots. Is that right? Something like In that. so many ways, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can feel that he has saved you a lot of time, but how much time has he saved you ever since he started working with you? Oh my gosh. Um, I actually was thinking about this because I've been able to now mm -hmm. focus a lot of my time, not only on obviously my appointments, mm -hmm. uh, but he confirms my appointments. He sets a lot of my appointments. I've been able to now move to leaning on him more as hey, will you reach out to them and get an appointment on my calendar? Or we're working towards more of that where I'm just, oh my gosh, you need to talk to Zeus, hang tight and I'll get him. Um, because that's our next natural step. But he has, I am able to now focus not only on the recruiting part and the external, but I've been able to spend more time with my agents, which shows in our retention. Like our retention numbers have been, great because Zeus has taken a lot off of my plate so that I can put something else on it. <laughs> Just change it. So a lot of time yeah. then. Now we yes. already talked about a few things that he is currently doing for you and your team. What we'd mm -hmm. like to know more of is what are some of the things that you're considering having him do in the future for you and your team? Okay. So with that one, I, I do think that for the team and we have we've, we've had a big meeting this week too okay. so we have like all these new ideas and stuff happening so um i've really had him lean into the command and he's got us all set up there 
what I want to start having him do and what we've planned on is instead of me and putting notes or anything like that, because let's be honest, I'm not good at it. Yeah, I'm a okay. team leader. And <laughs> I, if I showed you my desk right now, like it, it, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I have pieces of paper with notes all over them from <laughs> meetings. And so uh, we're starting to do this like virtual where I just shoot in my notes so that he can take care of it. And it's beautiful. And then my whole team now can see it. And you know, how we should be doing it. Um, so that's one thing is where I no longer manual input. I'm like, okay, finish the appointment. Here's this go. And I've given him permission to now check in with me. And we, I've decided at three 30, that gives me like an hour to finish it. Okay. <laughs> Whatever I haven't done. <laughs> so we'll move into that because we had talked to you guys. Do you need like scribe, like while you're in your meetings? And I said, no, I just need someone to take them from me. <laughs> take them from me. And literally. so we're moving to that as well as um, right now, our big thing is we're trying to figure out how we can manage a referral system that he would manage. Um, because I very, very much, all team leaders probably prefer a warm lead. So I get a lot of referrals from my agents. When that happens, a lot of the times, like you're headed to heat up your food in the kitchen or go to the bathroom and, oh, hey, you got to call this person on my way into this podcast recording. That's what was going on. <laughs> so uh, we're trying to figure out a system so that when that happens, I get them to him and then it just works its way to where we beautifully have an appointment and convert them. <laughs> Well, it's going to be growth for him then. A lot more things for him to do. Growth for you, him. Growth for you and your team, right? Very much so. Yes. yes. Now, my next question is a bit tough. Um, what have been some of the challenges that you've had working with your own cyber backer? Or let's say um, opportunities for growth. Oh, we, see, that's where it's hard. Because I feel like as things would come up, because we have such a really working relationship, like we'll just hop on a Zoom and nail it out and figure it out. Um, kind of like this whole referral thing where then uh -huh. we were like, but just let's get on and let's see if we can hash this out and figure it out together. Um, I can't hug him. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, like I think in the beginning, especially like some of the, the things to overcome were just how I preferred to work, how he preferred to work. Another is my recruiting style. And we've had, which again, there was just a conversation. So like I told him we had this like a month or so ago, I think okay. where I was like, Zeus, I really, I really just want to be really direct. Can we do a direct recruiting campaign and just say, Hey, what do you want? And so he, we then like, I was like, I, I just really, this is what I want. And he was like, all right, let's switch gears. And so then he went to work trying to find who's doing a direct recruiting campaign and how this is working and what I would prefer and write it out. And so that's been one of the obstacles. But honestly, that's why it's super important to have that working relationship with your side partner. Because of course, definitely that relationship, that it's like an investment, like a business investment in itself, right? Absolutely. You yes. like, that's what I like with Zeus. I was like, I will put in as much on the front end or whatever we have to do so that this works out. Because if you don't, then there's, you're not going to get that much out of it. <laughs> yes, definitely. I totally yeah. agree with that. Now, one last question, Libby, what advice would you be able to give other business owners that are listening to us right now when they're hiring their own cyber backer? Um, first and foremost, I think it's super important, like I was kind of saying, is to really, especially on the front end, really commit the time to build it and make sure they're comfortable um, and find out also like their strengths too, because had I not like given Zeus more of like the free reign and be like, hey, I mean, well, do you like what's going on? He wouldn't have felt comfortable to be like, okay, well, here's this idea. I was just talking to my coach. They said this. And so invest on the front end, building the relationship and the rapport so that they're bringing you ideas, you're giving them ideas, and you have the confidence to that they will execute without the micromanaging. 
because we don't have time for that. <laughs> yes, in the relationship piece. Now, one last thing. I know that Zeus is listening to us right now. Would you want to no. give him a quick shout out on the show or a few words you'd like to tell him? So I love Zeus. He is my absolute favorite. And he knows that though. I tell him that all the I time. Feel and <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone in my office loves Zeus too. Like they will just come by and be like, hi Zeus. So he's got some number one fans here in Indianapolis. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> We are very excited to see where this partnership between you and Zeus would be in the next few years to come. Libby, thank you very much for being on the show today. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.